Hi everyone and welcome back to Crafts with Mike. Today we're going to be doing another phase of this panda. I do believe that we missed out last week. Um, apologies for that, it's just been very, very filthy. Um, so we're going to do another session here today for about 20 minutes or so. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. So last time we got up to here, so I reckon it is sort of it down there I'm actually uh, in the process of reading Animal Planet at the moment so I am on the hunt for some more of these I've seen some in the news agents um, about these engraving things which I'm quite surprised because it's not the type of thing you would find in a news agent so uh, yeah so then this one is sort of like the flick, isn't it? Yeah. So as you can see in here, what we're going to be doing now is putting some brush strokes in. One of my friends um, sent me a photo of the um, Eddie Stobart beam and I'm getting the vibe that it's like a build up chassis it's like all bolted together so yeah that's pretty impressive it's such a relief that we're now getting you know finally the work of the chassis here but yeah it's uh very therapeutic doing this and it doesn't have to be perfect What you can do is, you've got the guidelines underneath, but you can do it however you wish. So as you can see with this, the hairs are sort of getting longer and longer. But I'm trying to do it in like a fan shape. So as you can see, it flicks a bit. Yeah. And what we can do is do down here, that's... Now this is quite a thicker one, so I've done it a lot thicker. But yeah, this originally will be every Monday, so, yep. So yesterday I was working on the diamond painting channel and then today I'm doing it's mainly stuff for the crafting channel but if I've got time I'll probably do some diamond painting on the other channel because I run four channels so I've got World of Mike, Diamond Paintings with Mike, Crafts with Mike and World of Titanic. That's like a fourth channel but it's, take, it's a bit of taking time to film on that one and I've also got scale models with Mike because I felt like moving forward builds need their own sort of channel world of Mike is like a bit of everything so I'm trying to do it so that you've got just builds on one channel you know but that's from new channels and that so so as you can see, I'm moving bits down as we go. Oh. 
I love it when you get a thick one, like a thick leaf, because you, you sort of colour it in. I'm also waiting for the postman because I've got a package coming from Milton Keynes from my other unit. Um, because of the amount of parcels I deal with, I have to have different depots for different things. So, like bulky things will go to Milton Keynes if it's like a letter or something or a magazine. That will go to the P.O. box. So, yeah. Also, if you feel like you want to buy me a gift, you don't have to, but check out the um, address in the uh, description and you can send it there. Please be advised that if you do decide to send me a gift, please don't wrap it up because I can see what's in... Hang on a minute. Sorry, Apple verification come up. Um, as I was saying, please don't wrap it up because the team open the packages and send me a photo of what's in there. So just be mindful of that. Because the chances are if you wrap it up, they're gonna open it. <laughs> but it's for like security and all that, so. And I can say, say like I didn't like a package or it's like junk mail, I can just say, right, dispose of it and they'll dispose of it. So it's, it's proper good. What I like about Reese Ship is the fact that you can actually see your mail, whereas a PO box you don't. Like you get a photo of what's in it before you even pick it up or collect it, you know, or deliver it. Now, obviously, I don't drive, so I can't get to Milton Keynes, so I get I ask them to deliver it for me. Okay, so it's coming down pretty good. I've done a lot of filming yesterday, so today's like, still gonna do some filming, but not as much. But I'm trying to get a lot in front so that I can because a lot of my days are sort of like filled up with filming and that and I would like to have a day where I'll just get, you know, a break from filming. So, just have to uh, wait and see really. So as you can see, I'm just doing the eye here and then the brush strokes. Now, as I said, I'm not necessarily following the guidelines on this. I'm making my own thing as I go up. It's turning out really lovely, actually. is absolutely beautiful. I really like this. Now obviously they say to use a damp cloth, but to be fair with you, I'm, I'm quite happy not using that actually. <laughs> This tool could be quite useful for the models as well, like scraping off excess paint block or something, you know. 
because I dare say you're going to get a scalpel thing, this sort of cutting thing in every, um, in every, you know, package that you get from engraving kits and stuff like that. See, these are the ones I like. It's this big, chunky one because it means you can colour it in a bit. Now you can obviously press hard and light on this, so it's entirely up to you. I think these parts here possibly whiskers or something but the whiskers would normally be about there so it's quite interesting I think I might colour that one in, yeah. This is absolutely brilliant. I mean, here's interesting because it's... <coughs> Sorry, guys. It's mainly very, like, interesting in that. But remember, a pandry is black and white, so... Yeah. This looks like it's bamboo or something, so I'm just going to put some flex into that to make it like a little plant. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That's like the lower lip. Oh, I like that. It's come out pretty good. Problem is, if you scrape it and go like that, it's not going to work. That's why I sort of brush it like that. So yeah, this package is supposed to be coming today because I paid for like 24 hours. You know what I'm like, I like my things nice and fast. And um, it's still saying that it's at Chelmsford, so I don't actually know if it's going to be coming today or what. Because they did that before and then it came and then uh, it was like 4.30 before I got it. But they, um, our depot is quite a big one. So Branch's depot is massive. So it's like they get three or four trucks a day. So yeah.
but it, it says on the app that it's going to be today, so... But I know it's still in Chelmsford, so... Or it could be that they've not updated the scan and it is in Braintree, you know? So, I'm not going to say that I'll be doing this... Like, I, I'm thinking that this will be like a one-off thing, but I am thoroughly enjoying it. So... Maybe we'll do this like every month, like it, a regular thing for a Monday or something. Okay, so as you can see, we're getting there slowly but surely, so uh, pretty good. Do some painting later. Oh, who's ringing me now? Can't get to it at the moment. So, if you can uh, hear the phone in the background, someone's ringing me. But obviously, at the moment, I'm busy, so can't get to it at the moment in time. So, looking at here, it looks like flecks of white. So. I assume this is like flex of looks like flex of hair or something as you can see I'm putting flex in because otherwise we're gonna have like a solid patch there so but we're approaching the bottom of this so it's really really lovely These types of projects I'll always like put into YouTube like how are these made because I find it very fascinating you know how they're made and that find doing the flowers is a little bit of a challenge Okay guys, so I think I'm going to cut it there, it's not quite 20 minutes I don't think, but if we do any more we'll be finished because it's looking really really lovely. I, I never thought that this would come out so well and what I'm so proud of is the way this head has come out. I never thought that I could get it looking like the box and yeah, it, it, it's come out really lovely. So uh, join us next Monday when we do hopefully the rest of this i think this will be done in at least another two or three sessions but join us next monday when we do more of the panda who still don't have a name but um yeah um so please remember to like share and subscribe if you want to be notified if as and when a video goes up then remember it's important that you tap the bell or you won't be notified of when a video goes up but um yeah it'd be great to see you there um and subscribe uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.